Hi, and welcome to our humble homestead. I'm Hannah. My husband Gabriel and I live very tiny in a 14 by 20 shed with our five children. And today I wanted to show you how I try to set an example of slow living for my children while passively teaching them independence. Today, from start to finish, I'm gonna be grinding fresh wheat berries and then baking breadsticks. And you'll watch and see how my kids go from watching me do it to progressively helping me with each step, not realizing all this time that it was a part of their school. I used to try to squeeze myself into a more traditional style of homeschooling because I went to a traditional school for most of my childhood. I thought that that's what homeschooling needed to look like where my children sat down at a table, or even in their own desks, for hours until all their school was done. But that's not how we run our home. After breakfast and after morning chores outside, I usually start off my younger kids with something creative that will occupy their hands and their minds. For example, today I'm setting up my six-year-old with a bracelet making kit so that she can be engaged and have fun while I help her older brothers with their school. And I just want to take this moment to say that no two homeschooling days are exactly alike. We used to try to stick to a routine, but as our kids have very different personalities, I saw that that just wouldn't work for our family. My eldest is very driven and very motivated and wants to get schoolwork done as fast as possible. So to try to tell him, no, it's not time for us to do math yet, or no, that's not part of the schedule, was just counterintuitive. It killed his drive, so I let him do things at his own pace. And my second oldest, I have to encourage to get it done before the day is over. but. Because he does grasp his school, he just gets easily bored, I allow for multiple breaks so that he doesn't get burned out and doesn't hate learning. Because that's very important to me, that my kids genuinely love learning, and they see the world around them as their classroom, that they can be constantly learning, and it doesn't necessarily have to come from a book. While I do hope to encourage a love of reading and a love of their schoolwork, I don't want to force it. So I try to give everyone something that they can do to keep everyone busy all at once. Mm -hmm. And when they are doing independent work, I still do things around the house because otherwise it would just take too long for everything to get accomplished. And since that is typical of our day, they learn what I'm doing as we start our homestead and how we are organizing things and living tiny and that becomes a part of their school. I've been learning about freshly milled wheat so we recently got hard red, hard white, and soft white berries. So I am organizing them to get them out of bags, and so we have more freshly milled wheat readily available. Since we live so tiny, there's really no way I can do things without my kids being aware of it. So it's never long before they ask if they can help. And I personally try to say yes as often as I can. Not only are they learning that they can contribute to our family as a team, they're also learning to share and they're learning life skills along with me, which I think is pretty cool. So what's pretty typical in our house is I will have my own projects and my own to-do list that is going on basically in the background, but I am available to them whenever they need help with their school. My two oldest are in sixth and third grade, so they're fairly independent and don't need my help very often. So whenever they are at a good stopping point is when I will help my kindergartner. And honestly, that's sometimes when her baby sister is sleeping and everyone else is playing outside. We really just go with the flow and find our opportune moments for learning. 
Now what you'll see here, which is something that was supposed to be a very pretty B-roll for you, is a little bit of real life. Here I am helping with my eldest with his algebra, and my second oldest is next to me finishing up his math, and <laughs> uh, unknown to me, my youngest wound up discovering the camera and having fun with it, while my other two children are just playing, doing their own thing. We also spend a lot of time outside. It's just so nice to be able to send everyone out where they can play, use their imaginations, get away from screens, get some fresh air, run on the ground in their bare feet, splash in the mud, play with animals. Meanwhile, we are also prepping our land for our garden. Today, I was picking up rocks and I asked the kids to pick up discarded wood and sticks and it has been a team effort that made them feel really special and like they were contributing, which is pretty cool. I also refuse to feel rushed while my sweet baby sleeps. And like I said, this is one of the prime opportunities to help the older kids with their more complicated school. I'm going to go ahead and confess to you that I forgot to film the end result of the breadsticks the kids helped me make with our soft white wheat because by the time it was done they were so hungry and so excited to eat the fruit of their labors that it was all wolfed down. But I just wanted to say it was really really cute to see how excited they were that, no, that they knew they helped make it from the very beginning and that it turned out to be something delicious that everyone enjoyed. And if you are interested in the breadstick recipe, I will leave it in the description box below.
It's moments like these that I truly love. I started doing the breadsticks myself and then Serena noticed and popped up and asked if she could do them too and I said of course. This used to be an area I really struggled with because I was more concerned about perfection than connection. But I'm learning if I allow them to help me and I accept that for a while things might look a little less than perfect, they are learning valuable life skills and it's so much more important that they know that they are valued and that I want them to be with me and that I think they are more important than having a perfect spread for dinner. And I love that gradually more and more kids hopped up and asked to help. I'm telling you, by the time those breadsticks came out of the oven, they were so excited and joyful because they helped make dinner that the hands that made them picked them up very quickly and scarfed them all down. In our homeschool, our beliefs, connection with each other, and everyday life skills come first. Schoolwork comes second and we try to throw in as much fun and time outdoors as possible. Thank you again for coming to our humble homestead. Shalom.